I was about to say good morning, but it is in fact no longer morning and it is the afternoon. I was having a really bad morning, I'm not gonna lie. I posted a TikTok complaining about my period because I don't understand why this is something that we have to live through every month and I just don't like it. And I don't like that there's this abundance of love talk, like you should be so happy. And I understand that your period is a sign of life, it's a sign of fertility, it's a sign of movement and your body's functions and womanhood and that's all great and dandy, but I think we can also acknowledge that it's gross. It makes me feel gross. It's literally blood. <laughs> blood. And my body shuts off for 48 hours over the first two days of my period. And that's just facts. And I don't love it. And I prefer to not have it. And I would like to be allowed to say that I don't love my time of the month. Uh, so that was my morning. My mood was instantly fixed when Dan went and picked up our package because we ordered the Gorilla Mind energy drinks. Listen, quick plug, quick plug, because I'm excited about it. I'm so excited that for 2024, I've got my very own Gorilla Mind code, which is just like, if you're in that space, if you know about Gorilla Mind, I'm, I'm just really excited about it. And I'm really proud. And I'm so thankful to the Gorilla Mind team for pulling me on. So I've got a discount code. You can use the code Alana to save some dollars on your Gorilla Mind purchases. But very exciting because we hadn't tried the energy drinks. This is new. Um, we shipped them to our PO box across the border and Dan went and got them this morning and I tried the tiger's blood. Sorry, fit, very fitting. Dan was like, babe, which flavor you want? And I was like, tiger's blood. <laughs> True story. Anyway, uh, I tried the tiger's blood one and it fixed my day. I am buzzing buzzing. So that's very exciting. We got the mixed variety pack and we also got the Arctic, Arctic white flavors. So blessed be, please, uh, get us through the day with that. Um, anyway, hi, welcome to the weekly vlog starting on a Tuesday because yesterday I just needed to get my hot girl winter videos out and I didn't do anything else. I literally filmed that in the morning and then, you know, uploaded it in the evening. So it's not too late to have a great start to the week. So welcome to the weekly vlog. It's our first week officially back to work in the new year and back to filming and making our ton making our ton back to speaking how about that uh making our content so let's sit down and have a little chat shall we let's get the hair out of the way every time i start a new vlog i always feel like i have so much to catch you guys up on which really i feel like i do <sighs> Does this happen to anyone else? For anyone who has multiple ear piercings, my little hairs always get caught in the back and it's it's kind of a daily struggle, a daily thing that drives me insane. <laughs> anyway, I do feel like we have so much to catch up on because it's been a minute. Like I posted my little goals video, but we haven't really had a chat about life since before the holiday, which is crazy. So I hope you guys are all having a beautiful week, a beautiful start to the week. And honestly, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I, I really did have such a low <laughs> over the holiday, the break, because I do, I get really down when I'm like feeling, when we're feeling good. Like Dan and I love Landmas and when we're posting every day because it just keeps the momentum up. And then when Landmas stops and when every day may, like we truly experience this always twice a year after the end of our daily posting because you're on such a high and then it just stops. And you kind of feel like, we both feel like we lose our purpose a little bit. Like we wake up and we're like, we have no, no reason for being. That's dramatic, but it's kind of just that you know, when there's a high, there's always a low to follow, you know? So it, it took a bit to crawl out of that low for me, but I'm, I'm feeling good now and feeling optimistic for the year. And I have to say that doing the goals, creating the goals, writing them down, doing a little vision board, manifesting, that really helps to perk the spirits up and make you feel excited <laughs> because really we just need something to look forward to, don't we? So let's just treat this vlog like a little girly catch up, shall we? Let me know. Let me know how you're feeling. What are our plans and drams going into the new year, my friends? Let's have a little chat. How's your first week going? Or I guess at the point of you seeing this video, how are your first two weeks going? What's the energy we're putting into 2024? Let me know. Here's a first little bit of LOL, something that you might not know about me and might not know about Dan. I thoroughly love being married to this man. And there's a few little things, you know, everybody in their relationships, there's just this few little things where you're like, ugh, I just feel seen. Like, you know me. And here's one for Dan. Here's, here's a win for Dan. I don't like lukewarm beverages. Like my beverage needs to be either hot 
or cold. So if I'm having a cold beverage, other than water, water is the weird outlier here. Water I can drink at any temperature, it doesn't matter, but for beverages, like my coffee needs to be hot. And if I'm having a cold beverage, it needs to be freezing. Like it needs to have ice, you know? Like if I'm getting a glass of cold rosé, I am that person that will put ice in it because I don't want it to get lukewarm. If I'm having an energy drink, even if I've just pulled it out of the fridge, it's gonna get warm very, very quickly. I need to have it with ice. So whenever Dan makes me a beverage or pours me an energy drink, he always brings it to me on ice. I don't think I've ever said that before on YouTube and it's just the cutest thing. I was having a poopy morning. I was sitting there and he came in and he brought me my energy drink in my Yeti and he filled it to the brim with ice. The man knows me well. I feel so seen. I love this human. So I've been drinking my energy drink in this, Dan. Thank you kindly. <laughs> it's also really funny to me because I just posted about this on TikTok, but I've been getting so many TikToks about Stanley cups, Stanley cups, and people's like obsession with Stanley cups and how they're collecting it and waiting in lineups, like waiting overnight in lineups to get a new color of a Stanley cup. But I think that the cup craze is hilarious and I don't understand. I that that level of consumerism, like when we used to see videos of Black Friday shopping and like people literally being trampled from waiting in a lineup, like that, I don't understand. That's that's a whole other level that I have never personally witnessed with my own two eyes. And I think it's really wild and very interesting. And I'm sure it has been studied and I'm sure that there will be studies. <laughs> I'm not a Stanley girl. However, my parents are very big camping people and they are very much into Yeti. Like I know the Yeti craze was crazy. For my mom's 50th birthday question mark, we got her one of the really big Yeti coolers because they were just always camping and always talking about how cool the Yetis were. So she actually got us on the Yeti mugs. And I guess this is like the Stanley dupe because this looks like the same shape, but it's great because the other Yetis without the handle are slippery and I would drop it and I'm like, mom, why do you love this mug so much? I don't understand. <laughs> I literally can't, I literally can't hold on to it. So we did get the one with the handle, which looks very much like a Stanley and I'm sure there's been other similar styles before it, but I also love it because it has the thin bottom so it sits in the cup holder in the car. So that is why. And the Yeti's cool. Like I get it in the sense that it keeps my beverages very cold and it keeps my beverages hot my other mugs that I used prior to that I would like put my coffee in it and it would essentially instantly turn freezing and it was annoying that has me on the Yeti train for sure but would I wait in a lineup to buy a Yeti absolutely not that is something indeed and on the makeup front naturally I'm still doing the same makeup because we are using up our products in 2024 the Chanel Le Beige Wow, this little combo with the Tower 28 Serum Concealer, beautiful. I have this one in the shade B20, this one's in the shade Downtown LA. Lovely stunning combo on the skin. And nothing new to see here, we have been using this combo. Just giving it a little love and appreciation. Uh, and I'm gonna finish my makeup here quick and get dressed for the day. Hey! This is where we've landed. This is my outfit of the day. I've got my little white and worn sweater, my dynamite pleated jeans, sambas. And I put these fun little Heaven Mayhem earrings in to just make me feel a little bit spicy. Went for a very natural makeup as per always. The lip that has not been talked about enough that I've been wearing a lot is the YSL number 15 Rouge Volupt Candy Glaze. It's just this nice little neutral lip balm. And I just, the smell of those, incredible. The new Burberry Goddess fragrance. They sent this over the holiday. And it smells really nice. It's really like, this is gonna sound so lame and so undescriptive, but it sound, it smells like classic Burberry. Whoever's wearing that could be wearing a Burberry trench coat. It's just got this like warm sweetness to it. Really nice, beautiful bottle. I don't know what I'm gonna wear over this, but I'm gonna have to leave the house later, but here's the fit. My hair remains in this messy bun, which was cuter in thought than in practice, but there's the outfit for the day. I wanted to show you a little update on the closet room in here because if anybody recalls this desk, this is the desk that I had at my old apartment in Vancouver. It was in my little solarium den and it lived in storage for many years and now it's been here. And that's the desk that I've been using in the closet room, but it's really, really wide, really thick. And it's also very dark and it was just kind of, it just wasn't uh, helping with my soul. So we got a little desk over the break, picked this up from Ikea and this is the current little vanity situation. So nice, so nice, so much bright. I've got my little light up mirror from Amazon and then the little cube is also from the old the old apartment ah, 
I forget what it's called. The Geo Cube, Geo Gem, something, something from West Elm. And this little desk from Ikea is just so much smaller. It still fits all my daily makeup in it, which is so nice. And it just gives me so much more room in here when I'm filming like clothing videos. And it's brighter. It's not putting this like big, dark, warm orb amongst all this white. So I just needed it clean, clean in my brain. So much more easy to keep clean and tidy up. And yeah, it just looks so much more bright and lovely in here. And this rug, I am rethinking the rug. I think it needs to go live elsewhere because now I just look so off center in here. I feel like I just need to do a nice little rectangle or a square to actually fill the space, help with the echo. And now I know that the ruggable rugs like fit under these doors so I can get something else. They're nice and thin, it'll sit there, but I think this needs to go elsewhere. I need to find another solution. So TBD, we'll finish that at a later date. But for now, we got a new vanity table. Good evening. Ooh, it's been a busy day. I haven't, I haven't vlogged at all, uh, but rejoining you in the evening because I have to admit something to you. I've only ever given Meryl one bath and it was just for funsies. And it was something that I, like, you know when you just grow up believing something and you just carry it with you and you never think to maybe fact check that. And I'm gonna be frank, to my knowledge, I didn't know that you were meant to bathe cats, and I still think it's kind of a divisive topic. If any of you feel the need to scream at me right now, please just go about it with grace. I'm simply doing my best. Anyway, um, Meryl's been a little bit stressed for the last couple days. She had an attack from a neighboring cat. If you guys missed that, it was very, very funny. She was screaming at the neighbor cat. protecting her territory uh, and the last like two nights she's kind of been really stressed by it she's been a little bit like eh, she's so funny she hates cats uh, so not that I want to stress her out even more but she's just not been grooming like normal and she's looking really gross and I need to give her a bath so I ordered her some supplies I ordered a cat shampoo cat shampoo and I also got um, some scrubby little bath gloves that I can scrub her with and join me in giving Meryl a bath I feel like I'm about to die. ago I mentioned to you guys that I have been on a wait list. I, I mean I put myself on all of the wait lists and I think I said I think I, think I said Johnson and Johnson. Uh, it was Joseph Joseph. This laundry hamper. It's this really pretty nice soft creamy three-piece laundry hamper and a three-piece was important because the laundry hampers that I have seen or were shopping around for were always two pieces. I need whites, blacks, and color, okay? I needed three options. We've been living in this house for two and a half years and our laundry has lived on the floor and the never-ending attempts at finding a laundry basket really have, uh, it's, it's been ongoing. So the day, I just need you guys to know the timestamp, the day that I posted that video where I was like, ah, oh, I've been on the wait list to get this freaking laundry basket. I got the email saying that it was in stock. I got it on Wayfair. Wayfair came in clutch. Same day, it also came in stock on the Joseph Joseph website, but Wayfair had faster shipping, so here we go. Guys, the day has arrived. We have a laundry basket. The thrill of adulting in a weekly vlog. Oh, honestly, the box is so much more thin than I thought it would be. I have spent all day today <laughs> doing and filming and posting a little Sunday reset. Kudos to the people who do this every week. Like, 
one of the things that I have found the most difficult in an effort to post more on Instagram and TikTok is how time consuming it is, how time consuming it is. Like trying to keep up with the YouTube and remembering what I've said and what I've posted in each thing and then trying to make the content differentiated enough that you won't be sick of me. Like, anyway, my point of saying that is that I completely forgot what I filmed all week long. So I was just scrubbing through the footage. I'm like, hello, where did I leave you? What have I said in this vlog? Um, we spent Friday night and Saturday downtown and I didn't bring the vlog camera because I, d I actually did, that's a lie. I, I physically brought the vlog camera with me when we stayed downtown, but it was minus 15 for everyone who has experienced the insane cold rush that we had this weekend. Oh my, oh my, very reflective on, on you know, being cold and the, the privilege of being warm and how grateful I am to be warm. Uh, wow, it was cold and my family who lives in Alberta, I was chatting with them during the day being like, okay, listen, I know it's cold for BC, but I know that it's colder in Alberta. My dad said it was minus 51 degrees Celsius, minus 51 degrees Celsius in Alberta. That is, that is like, what is that? What does that even mean? What does that even feel like? I remember when I lived in Calgary, I was there for almost six years, and I think the coldest I ever saw the temperature was like minus 40, but that wasn't the official temperature. That was like with wind chill. And you just don't leave your house. You just don't leave your house on that day. Anyway, it was cold, so I just, I didn't vlog the weekend. So I'm sorry, but post a little Sunday reset. Hopefully you guys will have seen that it was fun and the house is so clean. <laughs> it is so clean and the laundry is almost done and it's just felt very nice. It was a true Sunday today. The Sunday was Sundaying, which was very nice. And we just did a quick run to the grocery store because we haven't done our big grocery shop or anything. Grabbed a couple things. Pick this up. Look at this fun little mix. A little fiber mix. Look at that. I'm going to have that with shrimp and white rice and my seal sama teriyaki sauce. That is on the menu for dinner tonight. Mm. Switch up. I made noodles instead of rice, but look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she lovely? So I actually love filming this format in the weekly vlog because now I get to discuss with you the things that happened during the week. So first of all, the Meryl bath. I posted giving Meryl a bath on my Instagram story and so many people replied, with the same feeling that I did. And I felt so validated in that knowledge that I had. People were like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you're supposed to bathe your cat. I've never bathed my cat. Sing. Like I don't give Meryl scrubby dub bubble baths, but I have to say she has smelled delicious over the last few days. <laughs> oh, yes, you have. <laughs> what is this sass? Is it because I said the word bath, Meryl? The thing is, she screams like that because she wants to be held, she wants to sit on my lap, but she ruins every pair of pants that I have when I allow her on my lap. Don't you? Just stop making biscuits for a hot second and you'd be able to cuddle more. Anywho, I was pleasantly surprised overall with the bathing experience. She was good, she only freaked out once, but it was really funny and also really sad because you just know that she's so scared. But she didn't get mad at me. She didn't pee on anything. She didn't poop on our bed. She actually just came and cuddled me that night, which was nice, so it would appear as though all is forgiven. That is our washer. Well, be a ring. <laughs> I had originally intended on talking through that, but the washer was being so loud. That sound is crazy. Certainly something is broken. That is not normal. <laughs> but I'm gonna make my dessert with you, and obviously I was gonna do that before I just did the little nightly kitchen tidy, but here we are. Speaking of that, I just wanted to say that while we're talking about the Sunday reset, and because I filmed it today, let me put you in the lemons. It has made such a difference in my daily life, and I know it's only been a few weeks of me actually doing the Sunday reset, like the real true weekly reset. That's also because we've been home and we haven't been traveling a lot, so we've really been able to get into our routine, which just feels so good. It feels so good. I love being home. The weekly reset and doing it consistently just makes it so that your house is so much more clean so much more often. Again, acknowledging that I don't have children or other people running around messing it up. So it is all just me and Dan. Meryl doesn't touch anything, knock on wood. 
Um, but yeah, I, wow, what a difference. And the hard rule of cleaning the kitchen before you go to bed, like doing the dishes, doing the wipe down of the kitchen, what a difference that has made in my every day, every morning life. It feels so good. Highly recommend. Let's, let's get the weekly resets going. Now I wanted to show you the, uh, the protein mug cake that we have been making. I had a big craving. I crave, really, really crave <laughs> cake and cupcakes and specifically anything with cream cheese icing, which this doesn't satisfy, but it's fine. It, it really curbs the sweet tooth. I'm a big baked good lover. And so this week we just had a big craving. I was trying to stick to the meal plan as much as possible. And so I wanted to find something that fit into my macro. So I was Googling a few mug cake recipes, the ones I've tried in the past I've never liked. I did a little mixing and marrying of a few that I found online. So I'm gonna put the recipe right here. This is the protein mug cake recipe that I am making. All the ingredients are here. Dan just made his, so I'm just gonna use his bowl. <laughs> Let me show you everything that I put into it. First of all, I'm gonna spray the mug. Egg whites, quarter cup quarter cup of almond milk. I have unsweetened vanilla. It doesn't matter though, I also used plain and it tasted just as delicious. Then, whatever sugar you want, you can use regular sugar. We have our little sugar-free trivia of sugar. Two tablespoons of this, which is a lot for one mug cake, really. That's probably why it tastes so good. Any kind of flour, one tablespoon. I have this cassava flour. I don't know why I have it. It was in the pantry and that's what we have, so that's what we're using. A heaping tablespoon of cocoa powder half a teaspoon of baking powder. And I think that's it. I don't have the recipe in front of me, but that sounds about right. Oh, maybe the protein, the protein powder. <laughs> Chocolate protein powder, obviously. Although we just ordered a cinnamon churro protein powder and I feel like that's gonna taste so good in this. If you want, you can also toss in a little bit of cinnamon, why not? Everything's in the bowl, mix it together. We all know that I love to partially follow instructions, so I just throw it all in a bowl and mix it together. <laughs> Once it's all liquidy, pour it into the mug. It goes in the microwave. Now this is important because the next bit is totally based on preference. The recipe said to put this in the microwave between 60 and 90 seconds. I'm gonna test out 69 because I found that 60 seconds, one minute was just a little bit too liquidy, but anything over like 75 just cooks it all the way through and you wanna have a little bit of the liquidy wetness left behind and I will show you why. So trial and error, unfortunately, is key here. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's beautiful. So here's the mug cake. It kind of overflows a little bit. It's got a nice little peak here, okay. Then when we cut into it, oh, that would only happen when I'm filming. <laughs> anyway, you can see that the top is baked and the bottom is liquidy, but when you chop it all up, you can feel all the baked bits, like the fully cooked baked bits. And then the liquidy part just seeps through and it ends up tasting like some beautiful lava cake, souffle, stunning angel, whatever. Okay, so see, here's the baked bits. You just like chop them up amongst the liquidiness and it's just like wet, ooey gooey chocolate. Mm -hmm. It looks crazy, I know, just trust me. It's the taste that counts. And I can't believe I poured it all over the counter. So it appears though 69 is a good, good time. Zamboni. <laughs> so now in your mug cake, you can play with a variety of flavors and toppings if you wish. I personally think that it tastes so good by itself. It doesn't actually need anything. You could add a little caramel syrup if you wanted a little extra sweet. I'm actually gonna add some peanut butter because I am low on my fats today. So I'm just gonna take a little dollop of that. Mm. Mix that peanut butter in and wow. The newest obsession in this household, if you guys try it, you have to let me know your thoughts. I went to sleep immediately last night and forgot to finish the vlog. I am so sorry, please forgive me, but I hope you love the protein mug cake. Oh, I know Meryl does too. Thanks for hanging out with me this week, you guys. You're gonna see me in the next week's vlog picking right back up with, with this face. So see you very soon for a new video and I hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye!